And welcome back at 644. A career that has lasted more than four decades was nearly wiped out in one night. A local artist recently lost most of his painting supplies to thieves. But Katrina Weber shows us how he's continuing to bring beauty to some businesses in spite of that ugly crime. He is the subject of this week's episode of If These Walls Could Talk. Some of it is concrete. From his mock-ups to his actual murals, everything about Jimmy Ramirez's artwork is airy and bright. With it in businesses across the city and beyond, he tries to bring the great outdoors inside. I don't use spray paint. I've never used it, though I, I do use airbrush. He says he likes to create art the old-fashioned way, by hand, as much as possible. This is my very first Ramirez has been painting professionally since the late 70s, starting out with signs for businesses. Back then, we really didn't paint on walls. If, if it was not an advertisement, uh, you really didn't paint on them. Eventually, Ramirez did get into murals. Not only did that work come much later, but also takes much longer. A piece like this one inside Hacienda Vallarta took months to complete. Now he's surrounded by painted walls, both in his west side neighborhood and right in his own home. Recently, though, he thought his painting days might be over. Most boxes were full of tools and stuff. He woke up one morning to find the van he calls his mobile office had been stolen. I had all my brushes that I carry with me. Uh, the majority of all of them, my tools. Eventually, police tracked down the van, but it was empty. He had to start from scratch, replenishing his supplies. So now I cover it, and I, I put this on it, lock it. Thanks to help from family and friends, Ramirez's career is back on track. No longer clouded by that crime, he's painting skies blue again. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.